Welcome to a video that will show you how to evaluate radical expressions on the TI-83 or 84. And we'll take a look at how to evaluate these using radical form and using rational exponent form. So let's first review radical form versus rational exponent form. The nth root of a to the m power is equal to a to the power of m divided by n. So if we have the nth root of a, this would be a to the first. So in rational exponent form, we'd have a to the power of one divided by n. If we have the square root of a, the index would be two. The exponent on the a would be one, so that would be equal to a to the one-half power. The cube root of a would be a to the one-third power. The fourth root of a would be a to the one-fourth power, and so on. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples now. If we want to evaluate these three radical expressions on the graphing calculator, we can do so in this form, or we can rewrite this in rational exponent form and evaluate them as well. Let's go ahead and rewrite these in rational exponent form and then evaluate them on the calculator. So this first one would be the square root of 16, which is equal to 16 to the power of 1 half. The cube root of 64 would be equal to 64 to the 1 third power and the fourth root of 81 would be equal to 81 to the 1 fourth power. Let's go ahead and show how you can evaluate both of these on the graphing calculator. So from the home screen, if you want to access the square root key, we press second x squared, and you can see it brings up the square root, and then we just type in the radicand, which is 16. Close the parentheses, press enter, and the square root of 16 is equal to 4. Or we could also type in 16 to the power of 1 half. So we type in 16, here's our exponent key. And then in parentheses, we type in 1 half. And of course, we'll have the same result. The cube root key is located under the math menu. And you can see it would be option 4. And then we type in the radicand, which is 64. Press enter. This is also equal to 4. Or we can type in 64 to the power of 1 third. And parentheses 1 third. Of course, the result is the same. <clears throat> now for the fourth root, fifth root, sixth root, and so on, we do have to alter the way we enter in the expression in radical form. So to enter in the fourth root of 81, we have to first press the index, which is 4 then hit the math key and now we select option 5 notice the index is the variable x which we just typed in so we're going to select option 5 and then enter the radicand which was 81 and press enter the fourth root of 81 is equal to 3 so any index higher than 3 is going to have to be entered in in this way or using rational exponents, we can just type in 81 to the power of 1 fourth. The reason I like to show rational exponents at the same time is that it's very consistent in the way that we enter them in. However, you'll notice that when you have a square root, cube root, and a fourth root, each of these three have a slightly different way to type them in in radical form. Now notice that all of these came out to integer values and that was because all of the radicands were perfect nth roots. But a lot of times we don't have nth roots, and therefore the only thing the calculator can do is return a decimal approximation. So as we see here, you probably know that you can simplify the square root of 8 as 2 square root 2, but if we evaluate this on the calculator, it is just going to give us a decimal approximation. So let's go ahead and rewrite these using rational exponents, and then we'll do the same thing we did on the previous screen. So this is equal to 8 to the 1 half power. This would be equal to 75 to the 1 third power. And this would be equal to 64 to the 1 fourth power. 
So again, none of these radicands are perfect nth roots, so the calculator will only return a decimal approximation for each of these. So the square root of eight is approximately 2.83, or we can type in eight raised to the power of one half for the same result. For the cubit of 75, we would have to press math option four, 75, press enter, or 75 to the one-third power. Of course, the result is the same. And then lastly, for the fourth root of 64, we first type in the index, four, press math, and now we're gonna select option five, and now we type in a radicand of 64, or just 64 to the one-fourth power. So that'll do it for how to evaluate radical expressions on the graphing calculator. Again, you have the choice of using radical form or rational exponent form. I hope you found this video helpful.